So some intervention strategies on prevention, control, and early detection of lifestyle diseases. So intervention strategies to counter lifestyle diseases could include protecting people from tobacco smoke and banning smoking in public places altogether, protect the public, raising taxes on tobacco so people are less likely to buy it because it becomes a bit more expensive, just banning tobacco advertising, promotion, and sponsorship. That is very difficult. There's typically alcohol, gambling, tobacco companies have yeah, quite a bit of money to inject into their marketing. Uh, warnings about the dangers of tobacco use. So if you buy a packet of cigarettes, it's usually some dude with like mouth disease on <laughs> the cover of the picture of the box. Yeah, it looks a bit hectic. Educating people about healthy lifestyles, how to live a healthy lifestyle, educating them about STIs, including HIV, reducing stigma against people who have already contracted or who are battling with HIV and AIDS. There should be no stigma attached to it. For most, it isn't their fault. Or is it ever really anybody's fault? What do you guys think? If people are willingly engaging in the fun stuff without protection and they contract it, are they to blame for it? Should the partner have disclosed it? Like, what What do you guys think? That, that is an age-old question. You know, they've been asking that since the 90s. Can anyone be to blame for it? Or are you always a victim? Like, okay, what, what, what do you guys think? Promoting testing for HIV, again, reducing stigma for it, making sure that it's free. I mean, look, let's say you wanted to get tested for HIV. Would you know where to go, who to call, what to do? Encouraging regular physical activity. Yeah, go out, go for a run, walk around, physical activity, it boosts everything your esteem your health physical and mental educating people about the importance of early detection you know before it becomes too bad regular screenings and visits to the clinic limiting access to alcohol so when under the influence of alcohol you can do some pretty bad things if you drink too much you could end up with liver disease or something like that uh, banning alcohol advertising completely that is very difficult they make alcohol look like a very fun thing to do i mean cruise your world your vodka aka i'm sure you guys have seen something like that and raising taxes on alcohol so it becomes a bit more expensive okay those are some intervention strategies